I'm coming down. I'm coming down. There I am. Load up. Where did we leave off? Where did we? Ah, oh, sure. Whatever. Alright, this time on my side, not exactly. I'm technically waiting on the group for Borderlands to come back nice together so we can start recording, but they're taking their sweet ass time. One person in particular, Spencer, I know what you're doing, but nah. Out of the way, hey everybody! We're behind you. Welcome back to the Awakened Fatal Tomatum. I looked at the case again. God damn it. I keep forgetting the name of this game for some reason, even though it's always in my head when I'm at work. I'm thinking, what's the story gonna be like? What's he gonna do? Don't tell me he's gonna do something entirely, readily stupid, but. I forget the name so often. And hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm forgetting something. I am forgetting something. Where? Where the. Where? There it is! Okay, I misplaced the coin for a second. The faded coin of fadedness. Out of the way, guys. Hey, I'm finally back on this game. It is actually Saturday when I'm recording right now. I have one more day off after this, and hopefully I can get all the rendering, editing, and all that that I need done the next 24 hours so it's all up and ready and going for you well I failed English there for a bit I, I, I realize that but also first off to those of you wondering about I'm gonna be talking for a little bit here I apologize but there's another event so I'm gonna be not talking for a while when that hits but yeah first off to to talk about something that one of the comments told me Bloodstar hey rep this is some pretty into the game into the game you spelled game wrong what are your thoughts on Shin dude and I replied with what my thoughts were, but I said I'd expand a bit more here. First off, assuming my choices actually do have an impact in the game, that my choices of being good or bad or whatever you guys declare them as. And if it, this game does actually have a expanding, branching plot, if his character were to progress in any other way right now, assuming I had impact in that, I would say he's turning a bit... selfish. Granted, that might be just the majority of me picking, ending up going with Ariel so often of this rigged coin of riggedness, but also in that he is incredibly indecisive. At least from my analysis of whatever I believe possibly would happen in a situation like this, he's being very wishy-washy, if you accept that term with some of these things. He will readily want to try and protect everyone, but when the time comes down to it, granted by this coin's choice, he often goes for what's near him and dear to him. He doesn't think about the greater, he just thinks about the immediate. Granted, while Ariel's, some of Ariel's choices do tend to handle that thing of that Duma sacrificed a few for the big picture, in the immediate, it's hitting him to the point where he's thinking he's hurting the greater. I'm not sure this, how the story's gonna roll out, I'm not sure how much is left of the story, and before we left off, with Ariel kind of ditching him for his little things right now, and from what the last chapter preview told us in that, they're going to attack us because they found us. I don't know where that's going to leave us. I hope not too far south. Though I am interested in seeing what the story is going to do to us. Especially with Phyllis constantly being a presence in this whole thing. Goddamn shoot, shoot. Not content with your own little things. First off, storehouse. Did I forget to purge anything? I did not really. I have everything. I have one repping apple for 100. Med kit. Two arrived gems and two sleep gems. What I consider to be key things mainly. And, alright, let's go to the next event and hope that everything is going fine and dandy. Maybe I'll resolve the whole thing with Ariel. Maybe she'll get captured again. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what happens on the siege, if it does even happen this chapter. We don't really know. And hopefully she ends up for the challenge. I know I am. And now, mute. My, my. Well, if it is not our favorite she-devil witch. You sure have quite the standing around here. Are you out for a walk? Where are you planning to go today? Are you out looking for more instant noodles again? Ugh. Uh, what? Perfect timing. I was already pissed off. Okay, let's do this. Huh? What are you... Uh! This'll be perfect for taking my mind off things. What are you doing, Miss Ariel? I actually forgot that I have to sort of voice some of these things. <laughs> we hear people talking, so we go see what's going on. Ariel and two angels are engaged in fist fighting. Fist fights. Jupio jumps in to try and break it up. She grabs Ariel by the arm and trying to stop her. Miss Ariel, please stop. Let me go. I'm going to beat the crap out of all of them. What are you doing? Everyone disperse. Now. 
You will all have to explain the situation to me later. After Mero yells at them, the angels walk away, cursing underneath under their breath. So, Ariel, what is the meaning of such disgraceful behavior? Ugh. Answer me. I have provided you the same freedoms as an angel, but that does not include the right to commit violence. I may have to punish you. Do whatever you want to me! For an instant, Ariel's eyes meet with mine, but she immediately averts her gaze. After an uncomfortable moment, she walks away. Oh, I know! Sir Shin, do you like to sew? Where the fuck did this come from? As Dupio is taking me around, she asked me something like that. The probability just... The thought probably just popped into her head. Sewing? Why are you asking me about that all of a sudden? I have heard that doing something different than what you usually do is a good way to relieve stress. However, in your current state, you can barely move around. So I figured it would be best to try a fun indoor activity. That may be true, but sewing? The only things I know how to do are putting on buttons, stitching up racks. Hmm. How about stuffed animals? Stuffed animals? I guess she's talking about those guys who are running rampant in her room. Does that mean she made them all herself? Putting on buttons and stitching up rags seem more like punishment. So I thought we should do something fun. It's not like I suck at sewing, so I guess it's fine. After all, Jupia went out of her way to bring it up. What is this? Even though Jupio told me to make stuffed animals, my complete lap lack of molding ability makes this experience quite miserable. Even though I was supposed to make a penguin, it ended up looking like a great old one or something. Man, there's no way I can ever show this stuffed animal to anyone. It might pollute the mind of whoever lays eyes on it. Since this is your first time, it cannot be helped that it wound up being slightly distorted. Please do not feel so down. Let us make another one. Please imagine what you want to make properly. If you need help, I would be happy to assist you. With that, she sits down next to me again, spreading out the sewing pattern and starts working on the design. It will turn out better if you make it as round and SD as possible. Keep it simple, but it will be harder if you make it too small. As she takes my hand, she explains how to follow the pattern. When she's making stuffed animals, she looks just like a normal girl. It's hard to imagine she's the same girl I've seen in battle. I understand that she's worried about me, but my current self can't do anything for her. What am I good? Why am I no good? Anyway, regarding the stuffed animal we just completed together, as I thought, it didn't really turn out much better than my first one. Wasn't this some fluff? Miss Ariel is not back yet. <sighs> what? Got something you want to say to me? Not really. It appears you took him around, but Kamikaze hasn't fully healed yet. What were you thinking? It is also important to refresh his mind. You should have at least told me beforehand. I am in charge of his maintenance. It'd cause problems if he got worse. You're the one who just left on your own. You're right. Miss Ariel, are you hurt? Oh, this is nothing. It's more like I was just going at them without much resistance. Since you are not used to punching people, you may not know that you can hurt your fists when you do so. I doubt that you have treated yourself yet. Please, let me look at them. I can deal with this on my own. Just stay put. You must not punch people in the face. You might get an infection. First of all, shouldn't you admonish me for punching someone? You are right. Please be careful. This is... an enemy attack? Jupio! So this is where you were! Sister, what is happening? 
The enemy has discovered our position. The main enemy forces are on their way. They are surely coming to finish us off. Understood. I will be going. Jupia, he must. Big sister, I will be going. The devils are invading. It'll be the same as the last invasion. Once again, there are going to be a lot of casualties. Lord, if you can fight, I would like you to do so. To protect Celestia from the devils. Sister, Sir Shin cannot fight yet. Allowing him to try... She's worried about my injuries. But I'm more worried about making Jupio and Ariel suffer. But at the same time, if I don't fight, the devils might kill everyone. Including them. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Should I fight? Or not? Are you serious? This, right here, should not be a goddamn choice. I honestly feel like whether I choose to fight or not will not really impact it at all. Or, I mean it will, obviously, but not impact the flow of the story in the sense that I'm still going to have to do a dungeon. It will probably impact the length of the dungeon, or for all I know, the next following dialogue lines and before they say, you don't have a choice in the matter. But just... I feel like this shouldn't be a choice. You should fight. No matter if you can or cannot, the one thing they're pointing in like that and you have to make the choice, I, in my opinion, Shin would say he has to fight. Assuming the resolve he found in the li in the last couple of episodes that was Jupiter's little pep talk actually mean anything, he would actually say he's going to fight. Eric's going to protest and everything, but honestly, if it's to protect them and the others, I'm pretty sure Shin would have done it. Probably without a second thought or anything. He would worry about the two right there, but he'd probably... I guess then again, if he is going to be stealth like that, he would worry about Ariel and Jupio and not even try to fight. But in my opinion, with the pep talk and everything and him trying to turn over New Leaf, he would probably choose to fight. But I would personally pick Emma, Emma Jupio here. But what is the coin? Please do not be rigged. I'll do the best of three again, as it was recommended, and flip. That is Ariel. Oh my god, no surprise there. Next. And actually, Jupio. Wow. I'm going to count that, even if I land on the cord. And the deciding factor. Oh my god. How did I see that coming? I choose not to fight. I got one for both, though. Of course. What could someone who can barely walk do anyway? Just stay put. Big sister, I shall assume Sir Shin's role and back you up every bit as much as he would. Very well. Jupio, let us go. Miss Arya, please take this in case something were to happen. Jupio hands Ariel a small knife. A knife, huh? Do you think I'll be able to use it effectively? Though I may not look like it, I'm pretty adept with attack magic, you know. Please, keep it. This time, the enemy is invading. Please be prepared for a situation in which you might not be able to use magic. You're right. Okay, then I shall head to the front lines now. Please be careful, you two. Mario and Jupio leave to go fight the devils. Ariel seems unsure about what to do with the knife, but after a while, she tucks it away in her lab coat. Are you unhappy that you chose not to join the fight this time? Ariel broke the long silence by asking me that question. It seems like this was meant to be. Good to know. Um, I... Don't apologize. You have nothing to apologize for. However, since you are the one who started it, I won't apologize either. That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. You just have to see it from the right perspective. Fine. I don't even care anymore. Looks like they broke through easily enough. They're invading Celestia. Ariel, you should hurry up and get out of here already. Don't even joke about that. What'll happen to you if I run away? In your current state, they'll kill you. I won't let that happen. Ever. If they come in here, I'll rip their throats out. You must be Ariel Agari. So the guy behind you must be Celestia's god. That's right. You will be returning to the Netherworld. 
I will dispose of the guy. I see. Fine then. Or oh, raises her left arm toward the devil. She's probably trying to cast some kind of attack magic. <laughs> However, the devil immediately grabs her arm and twists it around and pins it against the wall. I don't have to bring you unharmed. It doesn't even matter if I break an arm or two. <laughs> As for the rest of you, dispose of God. I can't let you do that. Despite the pain, I stand up. I glare at the devils who are approaching me for the kill. Even though I was able to get to my feet, my knees start shaking as pain shoots through my body. The devils see my condition. Smirk. <laughs> Just as reported, it appears you're in a whole lot of pain. Your legs are all wobbly. Dispose of him. The two devils come closer to me. I still don't move. They reach out their hands to pin me down. Looks like they're completely dis dismissing me. Well, I don't look like I can put up a fight. If they let their guards down, maybe I can... Smack smack. I put all my might into punching them when they get close enough. Looks like I was able to defeat two of them. <laughs> but pain surges through my entire body. You punched them once! Did they send you the guys from, from the first area to just try and knock you down when you're level 20 something now? I'm forced to crash down from the pain. A cold drop of sweat runs from my forehead, down my nose, and falls on the floor. <coughs> I hear Ariel scream. Is she already eroding from the crystal? The devil throws something at me. It's Ariel's finger. Oh god. With an expression of complete agony, Ariel grits her, th her teeth, trying to withstand the pain. Do you know what'll happen to her if you make one more move? The remaining devil uses Ariel as a shield. I'm sure removing a nail or two won't affect your research in any way. Hell, I'm sure a finger would be fine as well. It's no use. In my current state, I don't have any way to dodge past Ariel to defeat him. Also, if I use too much power, I'll... <laughs> hmm. Now that's better. Don't give me any more trouble. <sighs> don't get carried away. You're gonna pay dearly for this! Ariel pulls out the knife she has tucked away. With the blade pointing backwards, she stabs the devil who was laughing triumphantly behind her. Ugh! Who gave you permission to kill him? Kamikaze is a god that I created! There's no way I'd let you kill him! Ariel continues to twist the knife until the devil draws his last breath. I learned during my training that if you twist the blade after stabbing someone, it'll damage their internal organs, and they'll end up dying. After everything is over, Ariel collapses to the floor with the blood-stained knife in her hand. Ariel. <laughs> I walk toward Ariel, who's breathing heavily. A sharp pain surges through me with every step I take, but I walk on, enduring the pain for now. Are you okay? Don't worry. They only peeled off a nail. More importantly, you're much more severely wounded than I am. We're not safe yet. We've got to get out of here, quick. Laugh if you want, but my knees have given out. She looks at me, still sitting on the ground, unlike her usual confident self. She looks like she might start crying any time. You see, just one fight and this is what happens. I'm shaking. Even though I always talk big, I'm not much of a fighter. It's fine, Ariel. Don't worry. It's my fault for taking out my anger on someone else. I told you not to apologize. How can I apologize to you? It's no use. I've got to go defeat the devils. No matter what I do, I'm going to end up hurting Ariel. Jupiter is out there fighting, too. I've got to fight. Ariel, I have to go. I've got to go defeat the devils and protect this place. You're in no condition to fight. You should stay here. It doesn't matter. If Celestia's destroyed, it's all over, right? Ariel grabs my hand with both of hers and tries to stop me. You had so much difficulty just defeating those guys earlier. You won't make it. But I've got to. If I don't, everyone's gonna... Then what will happen to you? If you die here, I... I've already died once. I can do anything. 
As long as I go at it with my undying willpower. Don't go! Please don't go! Please don't leave me alone! I'm sorry. I have to. I quietly pulled Ariel's hand off mine and dashed off toward the front line. I don't look back. If I did, I knew I'd probably run back to her. After being in the battle block for a while, I catch Jupio, who's standing before me. Sir Shin, what are you- Jupio, I'm here to fight too. H however Sir Shin, you are currently- Who cares about my injuries? Tell me about our current situation. We've got to defeat the devils, right? Yes. We are being pushed back by the enemy's veteran forces. If we do not hurry and defeat them, Celestia will not last. Jubiel, from this point on, I might hurt you when I'm fighting. But I've decided to fight the devils. I won't let them get away with this any longer. Sir Shin, thank you very much. I shall accompany you till the very end. You better enter. Like I guessed, we are still gonna goddamn fight. Wasn't even really a choice, but we did get a point here to throw around, and now we can start reaching the branching point where we can invest into these things. This one is the Gale Run. So I'm moving in front of an enemy with moving in front of an enemy within four tiles. A pretty decent skill, if I remember. Actually, no, don't go back. It's trying to navigate this. That feels strange. Now this one, we are a bit farther, but the angel form has a better boost in terms of. Actually, this sort of points it out again. HP is the same. Attack and defense are almost swap between angel and devil. So maybe again, it's like not trying to pick the opposite. It's just a matter of picking which one is deserves immediate attention, attack or defensive. Though I'm not entirely sure. So who knows. I'm not sure if this will be... Huh. I'm actually not sure I'm going to cut this up either, so... Who knows? Out of the way, dungeons! Mission 8. Bonds of Torment. Ten floors as well, so... Uh, let's hope it's not too far ahead. <laughs> 